The reason I'm doing research on sensors is because it's a totally new area and uh, the world is wide open. The reason I'm doing research on ingestible biosensors is because medications require that you take them in order to be effective. Adherence, the number of times somebody takes a medication when they're supposed to, is an important measure of health. The problem with adherence measures is that they're often aggregated so that you have to measure somebody's medication taking behavior over a long period of time, weeks or even months. And if you have somebody who is taking a new medicine, has gone from being you know, like previously healthy to now has to be maintained on a medicine, has to change their mindset from being not a patient to the mindset of becoming a patient, you don't want to let them learn to be non-adherent. So being able to identify right off the bat when somebody is taking their medications as prescribed is extremely important. Our response is to partner with uh, manufacturers, or developers I should say, of a digital pill. And the digital pill contains a radio frequency emitter which activates in stomach acid so that when you take the pill, the radio frequency turns on, it's detected by a small reader that acts as a relay, downloads information to the web so I will know within a few minutes of when somebody takes their medications. Conceivably, if they don't take their medications, I can respond before those behaviors that support non-adherence become um, ingrained in somebody's uh, rep behavioral repertoire. So I can respond to non-adherence, teach them how to take their medications, find out why they didn't take them, and hopefully improve health overall by knowing when they took them in real time. When I talk to clinicians, and I've talked to several, I've heard a number of different applications. In the sickle cell populations, you'd like to know if somebody doesn't respond to hydroxyurea, is it because they don't respond to the medication or is it because they never took the medication in the first place? For people who have cancer that makes someone incredibly ill, you want them to take the cancer medication so they don't develop resistant tumors that are then more difficult to treat. For the elderly who may have difficulty remembering to take their medicines, this would be fantastic. For people who have to take medications on a long-term basis to avoid outgrowth of resistant bacteria, for example, like tuberculosis patients, this would be very useful. In drug users who also may have cognitive impairment, this could help remember to take antiretroviral medications to treat HIV. So the, the applications for this sort of technology are enormous.